I started life as a normal evoker, living in a massive mansion and stealing from villagers. But then one day, a new threat arrived. Many tried to stop it, but every one of them failed. And so this is the story of how in 100 days, I became the greatest ever evoker and saved the world. So this is my room and I am fresh out of resources. Look at this, I've just got nothing but junk. These guys aren't willing to give me anything, are you? No, you're, uh, you're pretty useless. So instead I'm gonna have to get my loot the only way I know how, by finding a village and starting a raid. Although just to get me started, I'm gonna grab myself a little bit of wood. Then I can make tools and I can use my powers to deal with creatures like this. Yeah, I'm an evoker, you guys don't stand a chance. Also before it goes too dark, I'm making a bed and going to sleep. And now the search for that village continues. Looks like we're coming into a desert, but I still don't know where a village is. I think it's best if I grab some wood, craft a boat, and sail across the water in search. I really am having a whale of a time. Finally, I have spotted a village up ahead. Now before I actually go and attack it, I want to check out this ruined portal, which, okay, well nothing too exciting, but more importantly, I want to grab some stone, and then I can actually cook myself some food. Otherwise, I think I'll be a little bit worse for wear in this battle, and now I feel ready ready to destroy this village. The raid has begun, and I shall watch the chaos unfold from here. Yes, look at them go. Although it seems that their defenses are strong. Let's see if they can cope with these guys. I don't believe it, they've survived another wave. But this time with the Ravagers, they don't stand a chance. I'm gonna get involved as well. Clearly these guys couldn't do it on their own. That's right, come and face my crocodiles. I am the most powerful evoker in the world. And now there's nowhere to run, little villagers. You think you guys can hide it with your golems? Think again. Oh no, okay, he's coming for me. But he stands no chance. There's no point going in a house, little villager. You can't run forever. Is that it? Have we defeated them all? So you think you can hide in the wheat, do you? What a foolish thing that is. There is no escape. That's right, villagers. We are victorious. They've been defeated. Now I can take all of their crops, all of their resources, and all of their emeralds. Then I can craft myself some better gear and continue exploring the land. Although, what's that coming into distance? It's like some massive... Wait, that's no ordinary mountain. Apparently, it's home to blackstone golems. Whatever those things are. But let's be real. How dangerous can they be against an all-powerful evoker? Okay, you know what? Those guys, they, they do look kind of dangerous. Oh my goodness, look at the size of him. I didn't even realize. Okay, now that, now that I'm close up to you, yeah, you, you're messing. And there's more here. Wait, do these guys live here? And what on earth is that? It's like some sort of... Void monster. This is, this is a very strange place. They don't seem too bothered by me. I guess I'm an evil thing as well, so... They're not hurting me. So you know what? Whatever these guys might do, it's not my problem. Instead, I've managed to get plenty more food and resources, so I'm just gonna go home. Although I've spotted a desert pyramid up ahead and a ruined portal down there. Let's first check this place out. With the- oh my god. <laughs> Mate, I am an evoker. You cannot stop me. Slowly but surely, I am becoming the most powerful of the evokers. And whilst I'm down here, I'm gonna get some TNT. That was certainly very successful. Now I definitely want to get home as soon as possible. Although I found a ravine on the way. I should use this opportunity to get some iron as well as coal, and then I can smelt it. And with that, I have got full iron armor. Hello, little creeper. It's, uh, it's nice to see a friendly face around here. And speaking of friendly faces, it's now definitely time that I went back home. Here we are, we've made it back to land. And my home is up ahead somewhere in this direction. Yep, there's the Dark Oak Forest. And why are Blackstone golems coming into view. Is that... Is that my house? What is going on? What are you guys doing here? Why have you done this? Where is my family? I have may have spared you guys before, but this time you will face my fury. Oh my goodness, I've just been hit by him now. Okay, I've got to get out of here. They're now all angry at me. I am so, so weak. Okay, let's just get out of here. I'll pop a golden apple. I am no match for those guys, but I must get revenge. Goodness, they're coming through the forest after me. Oh, what do I do? But if I'm to stand any chance against these guys, I need to find something. And that something is hidden in my bedroom. Oh man, he's there. I don't even remember where my bedroom is. Okay, oh, is it over this way? Somewhere there is a chest. And it, it, it's not that one, but you know what? That could be useful. I think that's it over there. Of course, it's at the opposite side of the mansion. This chest was hidden under my bed and it has my totem, which is only for emergencies. And if this is an emergency, I don't know what is. And if I'm not mistaken, we also keep an emergency diamond block inside this obsidian. Perfect, I've made it in and there is the diamond block. I can't really get to it, but if I put a block here, there we go, we got it. And now to send a bit of a warning message to these guys to not mess with me. Yes, that's right, guys. You want to go against me, you will meet your match. I hope that hurt. And now I'm getting out of here and I need to come up with a plan. Now, the first thing to remember is I am an evoker. I am the master of the totems. All normal players have to take me out if they want to get their hands on a totem. But I'm aware of the secret 
of how to craft them. Oh, wow, there's another village here. I, I, I wonder if they'll help me. I know we don't see eye to eye, but, but I'm, I'm in desperate times. Hello, friend. Um, Any chance of a spare... Okay, well, what was that about? In that case, I, I guess I'll just sleep in your bed. I start to get the feeling that I'm, I'm not really welcome in this place. Look, look, mate, look. Oh my goodness, that was my one and only totem. Now what am I supposed to do? You see, the thing is to create a totem, you need another totem to make it from. I don't know how to make one from scratch. Well, I think it's time I stopped messing about and went and got myself some diamond armor. This cave looks quite promising, although maybe not. I'm just gonna have to dig down. Look at that, a mine shaft. And the area down here looks perfect for diamonds. What have we got in here? Well, nothing too useful, but I'll take the coal. Look at that, we have found some diamonds. Already the mission has been successful. And gold is another of the resources that I'll need in order to craft totems. I found some more diamonds down here. And I've worked out the only possible way for me to get another totem. You're probably not going to like this, guys. But I will have to take out a fellow evoker. Not something I want to do, but those golems and that void monster must be stopped. Otherwise, every mansion in the world will end up the same way as mine has. I'm just doing what I have to for the greater good. Now, in order to track down an evoker, I'm gonna need some sort of plan. Phase one, get full diamond armor. And for phase two, I need to trick a villager into selling me a map. A map that will take me straight to another woodland mansion. So to realistically pull this off, I'm gonna need a brown mushroom, some sugar, and finally a spider eye. Then I can craft one of these. And next I need a golden carrot. The best way to find one of them, get one from a bastion. Well, we've spawned in a fortress, but that, that's not what I'm looking for. It seems that I am not as welcome in this realm as I first thought. But don't forget that I am far more powerful than you are. Aha. I've spotted a bastion. I'll craft myself a gold helmet so nobody gets upset. And hopefully they will have some golden carrots. All right, guys, are, are we cool? I'm, I'm just going to steal some of your gold. Okay, they, they seem a little bit angry at me now. And now they've calmed down. Yes, I am one of you. I really hope they have some golden carrots. Okay, nothing in this one. But pick step, you know what? <laughs> I don't mind a little dance every now and again. An ancient debris, that could be very useful in my battle. And so the search for the carrots continues. Thankfully, this bastion is full of chests. Nothing in this one. Loads of gold to steal right here. And more on this side as well. And more potential chests right here. Finally, it is mission successful. Now to steal the rest of their loot and get out of here. Mission successful to make it to the portal. Although I have just remembered I forgot something. The nether wart is also going to be vital. I also mustn't forget about a blaze rod. This guy apparently drops as well. Make that two blaze rods actually. And now there's nothing stopping me from getting invisibility. I've almost got everything I need and they're brewing nicely, but I've just realized I need redstone. And there we go. And now I've got everything that I need. Time to find a village. Also, guys, if you find that you're enjoying this video, then please make sure that you're subscribed. It would really mean a lot to me. At long last, I've spotted a village up ahead. Now to create my disguise. I'm going to craft some shears, carve this pumpkin and put it on. Is the disguise working so far? Next, I drink this invisibility and I am just a head that is wandering around. Hello, good sir. Okay. The plan does seem to be working. Next, I need a cartographer. And you look like the perfect guy. You want paper. Say no more, I'll sort that out for you. Why are you looking at me like that? It's like they've never seen a floating pumpkin before. Look at this. There's loads of sugar cane around here. I've got a decent amount of sugar cane, but I don't think it's going to be enough. So I'll also go and mine up plenty of wood so that I can get plenty of emeralds. Let's level you up a little bit. Next, you want glass. And finally, I'm going to have to go and get you a compass. These guys still don't suspect a thing. My best bet for a compass is probably just to dig down and grab some diamonds whilst I'm down here. Then some redstone and even more diamonds. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was a little bit baited, wasn't it? Made it out in one piece at least. But that's not going to stop me from getting these diamonds. Now to craft a compass, drink more invisibility, and obtain the Woodland Explorer map. I think I've got everything that I need. And the map is telling me to go a long way in this direction. And finally, after a massive expedition, I found it. Time to put on my disguise and get myself another totem. Hello, illagers. Do, uh, do not be alarmed. I'm just a normal uh, evoker. I reckon upstairs is the place I should go. All right, good sir. I know as a fellow evoker... You would never give away your totem. But I have absolutely no choice. There is no escape. I'm not who you think I am. No, no, I am I am a regular evoker. And now it is time to meet your doom. That is right. I've got the totem. I've got to get out of here. It won't be long before they realize something's up. I've just got to make a daring escape into the water. And I think the mission has been complete. I'm sorry that I had to do that, but I... I really was left with no choice. And now to begin the first phase of this new plan. I'm going to create a crafting table, place it down here, and then drop a totem on it. And there we go. We've now got the special crafting table. And then if I mine this up, yeah, I just get the totem back. I have traveled thousands of blocks to get here. The quickest way home and to get to my emeralds and gold and everything that I need for the totems 
is probably to go through a portal. So there's no point delaying. I might as well get on with it. Let's make the long, long journey. And of course, we're in the worst biome, the Basalt Delta. It's actually one of my favorite biomes, but one of the most difficult ones to traverse. I've made it into the area that will correlate to where the village is, but I've got absolutely no obsidian, so I'm <laughs> we have to find a way to get some. There's a nearby bastion over here. Might as well steal the gold just to start off with. And hopefully there's loads of obsidian in the chests. Although, unfortunately, there was none in those chests. Or this one. So this chest down here is my last option. Also useless. Which means bartering is my best option. So far from the bartering, I've managed to get nine pieces of obsidian, I do believe. Yep. Now I just need one more. And there we go. We've got it. And now to build a portal and head back. Now we seem to roughly be in the right area. Just need to head in this direction. And there we have it. The village is there. And my stuff is here. Let's grab the gold and the emeralds. Drop this totem here. And now we can create more. By doing this, we get a totem. We can keep going. And with the amount of emeralds I've got, that is all that I can do. But look at this, guys. I can go ahead and create a piglin totem, an enderman totem, an iron totem. And whilst I know these villagers are quite scared of me, I'm going to make a load of glass panes, keep well away from the golems, and attempt to trade them with this guy before he runs away. I think he's trying to get out, but th there's no escape. Now he's running. But that will allow me to make a villager totem and more totems in general. I feel like slowly but surely we are becoming more and more undefeatable. And if I can go out and find pigs, then I can go ahead and create a pig totem. And I think now that I've got all of these, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. Let's craft a new axe. Hey, one more totem for good measure. That's a wither one. That's going to be really good. And then set off to get my revenge on those giant golems. And there it is up ahead. I've made it to land. Let's get all of my items ready and show these guys what happens when they mess with an evoker. All right. Well, I'm getting some hits. I'm doing the damage. There's not much you can do from over there. Look at this. We've got this guy on the ropes. You know what? I'm going in for some closer action. Okay, let's just be careful though. I have the power of the crocodiles. And look at that. Okay, that guy's down there is trying to get him. But okay, we've got to be a little bit careful. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm down to one heart. I just got knocked off the mountain. And he's gone blue. Wait, what does that mean? Okay, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh my goodness, he just hit me with a rock. I'm on half a heart. What on earth? I didn't know he could throw things at me. I think he's picked another one up. Okay, can we can we, can we do this? He's, he's, he's certainly causing me some trouble. Oh my goodness. Okay, the wither totem has come in handy. And now the tables have turned. Mr. Oh my goodness. Another one's gone. Okay, okay, I've got loads. I, I can... Oh my goodness, they're going through all my totems. There's loads of... Oh my goodness, there's good items on the ground from those totems, though. But I'm starting to think that maybe this little guy is... Uh, maybe I'm just out of my depth. I've got this guy down weak, but there's loads of them in here. I, I don't really stand much of a chance here. Oh my goodness. I think, you know what? I think I might be able to defeat one here. This is a big victory for the Evoker. Oh my goodness, there's little guys down there. What? I didn't know that that was not the end of it. Okay, oh my goodness. They, they, oh, I'm stuck in a hole here. Okay, oh, we're all right. We're all right. No, I'm not all right. Okay, half a heart. You think you can defeat me? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. We got ender pearls out of that though. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I can wait. I can do this. I can ender pearl up there. That's it. Okay, we've, we've lost them. Let's gather up these resources. And we got some ancient debris. Look at this. Emeralds and iron galore. This guy now thinks he can come after me. Take that wither. Look at him. He's, he's getting damaged now. That's okay. Is it worn off already? I'm just going to go all out on this guy. Alrighty. Get on some big hit. Oh my god. So bad. Oh my goodness. I'm end up all over that way. Grab all of this free food. And then I've got to try and get out of here. Is that the void shadow? Wait, can I? hurt it. I don't know. It's taking a little bit of damage, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Do I really stand a chance? I mean, it's, it doesn't seem to be causing me any trouble. Can I do this? Oh my goodness. What's been thrown? I've been at all of them. I, I, I tried to get in close to that guy. I think is that my last totem? It is. And I just gotta get close to that void thing without the other guys going after me. Let's try end up building up there and then I can get out of here. I made it away from there in one piece at least. But if I'm to have any success, I need a new plan. But I'll be able to regroup once I make it to the village. So I'm getting close to the village, but I've noticed some blackstone golems are loading in. Wait, what is what is that in the distance? Fire? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You guys followed me all the way here. What is your problem? Why? Why will you not just leave me alone? And now they're all coming over here attacking me. Oh my goodness. Right, I've just got to grab what I can and get out of here quickly, okay? I'll grab those. Uh, grab... Oh, I've got too much stuff. Can I, can I hold them back a bit? Take that. Oh my goodness, no. I've just got to run. I have lost so much good loot there. Although, the, the joke's on you guys because I'm actually actively encouraging destroying villages. So I guess that part is kind of a bonus. Do I have minor fatigue? Oh my goodness. And I left my diamonds. I've, I, I've just got to go back. What's this? A blackstone golem heart. Wait, let's shift and right click, it says. Oh my goodness, wait. I got some more hearts. I don't know if this will make me more powerful, but it's got to be useful, hasn't it? All right, guys. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Oh my goodness, they're going the hard way. I'm going to lure them over this way, then quickly run round, grab my diamonds, pearls, gold. Okay, that's good. That's all we can do. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to get out of it. And now I need a new plan. That new plan is to defeat all of them by getting way better armor 
and way better gear. And then I'll take out every single one of those golems, no matter what it takes. So I think my first task should be to craft another totem. Then I've got one spare that can go in my offhand. And next I need to find some lava. Actually, never mind. I've got obsidian. I'll just build a portal. Because where I'm going, I'm going to need blaze rods. Which means hunting down a fortress. And at long last, I have found a fortress. And it is a little bit of an awkward one to get to. Although nothing that I can't handle. And then we've still got that guardian of the blaze. And Okay, arrows don't work on it. Well, let's just, let's just go for the normal blazer. Eh? Although if I'm careful, I can probably get rid of this guy as well. Maybe a good time for some fire resistance. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> didn't mean to run off there. And that should be all the blaze rods I need. Let's get out of here. And whilst making my way to the portal, I have found a ruined one over there. Just got to make it across this terrain in one piece. And it's got basalt all over it. But if I mine up some of this obsidian, I can then complete this portal. Next stop, find the stronghold. Because that will be the key to me getting loads of OP loot. The eye is pointing pointing me this way. So let's make our way there as quickly as we can. Stronghold located. It is an exposed one. That makes life a lot easier. There's already been quite a bit of decent loot in here. I think I should take the opportunity to make an anvil, grab a load of books and also wood, and then craft a load of bookcases. Portal room discovered. Let's add in the eyes and go get myself a dragon. We are kind of far away on this platform, but I brought pearls, so that's not an issue. And next to put this bow and arrow to good use. And that is all the towers gone. Now I want to set up this so that I can upgrade my equipment. Never mind, I... <laughs> Forgot to bring any lapis, didn't I? What on earth happened there? I seem to take loads of damage really fast from the dragon's breath. I've got enough stuff to create one more. Hopefully it's going to be enough. All right, here we go. The dragon has now been defeated. And all this precious XP is mine. Now to mine up all of this and head on through. Now the next priority has to be to find some lapis. Down here looks like a very good area. I was right, we found the lapis. But I could still do with a little bit more. And there we go, we have located some. And some diamonds as well, very nice. I had run out of those, so at least I can now make one extra totem. And now the next thing I need to do is make a base. A base that is fairly near to this island, but hidden in such a way that they will never find it. Perhaps in a cave could be a smart idea. Oh yes, up here is perfect. If I just block up the walls and add some torches, then we could have a very cozy little base. And finally, I can also upgrade some items. Get some sharpness on that axe, aqua affinity on the helmet, and feather falling on the boots. I also need to repair them a bit. I could probably do with more diamonds to do all that. Straight away, I feel much more powerful. Powerful enough to take on those guys? No. <laughs> Not just yet. There's still one more thing I'm missing before I can handle that. Netherite. And you know what? I'm going to steal some obsidian right from their own back garden. With this, I can build a portal and then track down that ancient debris. My only worry is that this pickaxe is probably not going to last forever. Already, this piston is almost broken and not a single piece of ancient debris. So it's time to come up with a new plan. Firstly, to block up my entrance. Then to travel back to the stronghold and then head to the end where I can pearl across. Actually, never mind. I need to go up there. From here, I can head on through and hopefully find an end city pretty quickly. Perfect. There is one up ahead, although it is a very, very small one. So small that there's no loot here whatsoever. All I can get is a few shulker shells. And so the search continues. First one's there. And there's another one there. Although this one is also tiny and useless. But well, thankfully right next door there's a massive one. And this one does have some good loot in it. Although it, it, it could have been slightly better. Although not to worry, these chests are a bit more like it. And so the search for a pickaxe continues. Well, that was a little bit stressful. This time I'll be a little bit more careful not to fall. And let's see what loot we've got. Sadly, no pickaxe. But these elytra will be very useful as I fly in search of the next place, which is just up ahead. Now, this is more like it, finally. Although in this massive end city, there was only the chests in there. Massive letdown. And now that I've found an end gateway, I might as well head back. And with this, I can do a little bit of anviling. And now to go back to finding ancient debris. There we go. We finally got some. And this pickaxe is almost broken. I really need unbreaking three. Although there is always plan B to grab some paper, take out some creepers. Not back is so annoying on the sword and then i can get plenty of gunpowder or even better i can just collect it up from here now let's craft these and find more creepers and all of that should be enough because i have a plan i can take this one single totem and surround it in gunpowder to get a creeper totem and if i now fly up really really high and remove these elytra and boots i'll use the totem and look at this tnt galore next i'll make an iron pickaxe and go in search of a few more diamonds which are right here and use these to craft a brand new pickaxe go back to the surface next is to the crafting table where we can craft Okay, what just happened there? Used extra gold. What's that all about? Don't matter too much, so I've got loads of it. But let's make loads of this and another creeper totem. Then the exact same thing again. And we get even more TNT. Then I take it down here, place it down and light it up. And the mission for ancient debris has been pretty successful. And that's five more pieces altogether. Now to set it off smelting, make a smithing table, netherite ingots, and then the netherite armor. You can't see it, but I'm feeling good. So good, in fact, that the only thing I really want now is just more levels. Something I can get by mining quartz. And there we go. I've made it to 33 levels. 
tools. Now to upgrade this pickaxe and combine it with this one. Let's also do some combining with these, although I'm a little bit short of XP still. But with this right here, I have enough. There we go. With all of my gear, I think I'm finally ready to pay another visit to these guys down here. Only this time, my armor is way better, as is my bow. You guys do not stand a chance. You may have knocked me in lava, which uh, I know looks like a little bit of a bad situation. In fact, it's a very bad situation at this point. Yeah, there goes one totem. I'll just keep moving. I've still got one totem left. Maybe using the bow is a smarter idea. Although from here, you can't knock me in the lava, so uh, the tables have turned, my friend. Whoa. Okay, you can knock me all the way up a hill, though. And give me the high ground. Look at that. Absolutely destroyed. And now it's your turn, big fella. You can hit me with everything that you've got. It won't be enough. Although the worrying thing is, I've now run out of arrows. Looks like I'm going to have to get up close and personal with this one. Okay, maybe not that up close and personal. Whoa, what's going on? All right, I'm out of arrows. I'm about to use up another totem band. No, I'm not. You know what? Let's just get out of here. ASAP. Okay, now I've used my totem up. Let's just get out of there. That's right, you losers. I can fly. And that was just a warning. I'll be back. Back with many, many more arrows. Don't want to say in front of those guys, but I'm, I'm not doing too well after that battle. No totems left. My bow is nearly broken. And there's not a single arrow available. So my first task is probably to find a bastion. And this bastion can be used to get more arrows. And also string. String to be used to make a second bow, which can repair the first bow. Look at that. Brand spanking new pickaxe. And all in all, this has been a very successful mission. With ancient debris. Now let's get out of here and head back home. Let's use the anvil like this. Those are like uh, probably end of the road unless I can get some phantom membranes. Of course, now I've got a bow. I've got 40 arrows. That should be good enough to go back in there. Another totem would be ideal, but if I'm careful, I'm sure I can manage without it. All right, fellas, look who's back for more. Wait. Oh dear, oh dear. This is... This is not good. This is very, very bad. And I, I've got to get out of here. They've been multiplying. There's now at least two of those void shadow things. I'm just one evoker. How, how on earth can I win this battle? I'm going to have to come up with a much bigger and a much better plan. First things first, get more totems. To do that, I have to find more diamonds. And now that I have a fortune pickaxe, this is going to be even better. I've already found some. Literally, I've just come in there. And there's one here. But let's still keep searching. There's a couple more diamonds here. And we've got loads of more diamonds here. 21 altogether for me now. Time to get back home. And the amount of totems I can craft now is beautiful. I'm nearly out of emeralds. But if I go like this and make a villager totem. And drown myself in this hole right here. Although I've just realised that everything will go in the walls if I do it there. I'm better off doing it right here. With that I can create many more. That's all my diamonds gone. And that is a lot of totems. But it's still not going to be enough to defeat all of those guys. These guys have destroyed my home. They've attacked me and my family. And more and more of them are being created at an alarming rate. So what do I plan to do about it? I'm going to nuke this entire island Blowing it off the face of the earth. I think that's the only way to stop them. And is that a dragon over there? Man, this is getting crazier and crazier every second. How on earth am I going to nuke the entire island, you may be wondering? Well, a normal TNT like this, it's... It's just not going to be good enough. Even if I had a hundred of them, it, it wouldn't stand a chance against those guys. No, I, I'm going to have to create something much, much more powerful. So tonight, we're going creeper hunting. And from that entire night, I got 42 gunpowder. Let's also grab a bit of sand. With that, I can make 8 TNT. And whilst this 8 TNT is very good, we need something else to add to it. Yes, some fire charges will make it even more powerful. And already this guy's giving me two fire charges. Well, those guys did give me a lot of good stuff and 22 fire charges, which is certainly a very nice amount indeed. And now if I put eight TNT together with a fire charge in the middle, we get Sparkler TNT. Will Sparkler TNT be good enough for this project? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's place it down right here, light it, and then see what happens. Okay, that is, that is a lot of TNT. I, it's not going to be enough though by the looks of things. I mean, it has blown up a decent sized area, but it could be a lot better. However, the good thing is that Sparkler TNT can be used to create even more powerful TNT. Although for this project to work, I I I've got to do something about my problem of having no gunpowder. Because right now we've only got two and we've got, we've got nothing else. My thinking to solve the gunpowder problem is just to make a gunpowder farm. One of the things I'm going to need a lot of is glass and also quite a lot of wood. I had to get 12 stacks. That's a lot of deforestation. Many trap doors can be created with all of these, which can fill up this shulker box. I do also have a good little smelting system for all this sand with the furnace, but it's going to take till next Christmas if I wait this long. So I think it's in my best interest to add a few more furnaces. And to fuel all of them, I'm going to need more coal. While I leave all of these smelting, I'm going to head straight Straight down. Okay, well, that was a good MLG, wasn't it? Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to head down here to collect a bunch of redstone. And now I've got over two stacks. I think this is going to be enough. I've continued gathering resources. I've got nearly everything except for the fact that I need a load of iron. So it's back down the hole we go. 
This time I'm going to land the MLG and mine up all of the iron that I can find. Pretty much got everything I needed and some phantoms have spawned. I don't know if these... Go okay, they are going for me. I thought they might leave me alone. But with these membranes, or should I say membrane, I can ever so slightly repair the elytra. Now that I've got everything that I need, let's build this creeper farm and get lots and lots of gunpowder. That is the collection system complete. And now to create the platforms where the creepers will spawn. Almost made it all the way to the top, but I'm now out of blocks. So I'll just mine a load more up from their mountain. They'll never have to know. Now all the layers are complete so it's time to add loads of trapdoors and that is now the trapdoors done on every single layer i'll add these campfires and here's my afk platform now to add some redstone goodbye to my elytra now i'm going to mine up a load of logs then i can turn them into slabs and then i can place them all down to make a giant roof that is every single slab down i'll turn the machine on and build my way up to the afk platform and let's see just how much we get well a lot of time has passed let's see how much gunpowder we've got it's nothing too crazy but it is just as much as I'm gonna need. In fact, it's more than I can fit in my inventory. We're gonna need the shulker box. And that gets me another step closer to the ultimate TNT to blow those imbeciles up. All this gunpowder is great, but it's kind of useless if I don't have loads and loads of sand to go with it. That is gonna be more than enough. Now let's craft a serious amount of TNT. That'll do for now and we'll get more later. But my next issue is that I need a load more fire charges. I could continue bartering for them, but I think my easiest option is to just find a fortress and then collect loads of blaze powder from it. Can't make a furnace, so I'm making a campfire to cook all of my food. Didn't realize I already had some cooked pork chops in my inventory anyway. Apparently I'm, I'm just blind. And 22 blaze rods will be more than enough. So let's head back home. Now to craft these fire charges we need blaze powder and then coal and also gunpowder. Now let's craft a bunch of sparkler TNT. That should be enough. If I make some bone meal and get white dye as well as breaking a few poppies for red dye then we get pink dye which allows me to craft a brand new TNT pink TNT. That is just another piece in the puzzle to my ultimate nuke. Because I'm also going to need some buckets that will then be filled with lava. I also need obsidian, which I'm once again stealing from these guys. And thanks to all of this, I've now got the next one, Geyser TNT. And I can craft four of these all together, which is perfect. Now I just need to craft one more type of TNT and I'll have all the types that I need. Now if I make loads of pistons, and with that, we have got Fountain TNT. Let's make four of them all together. And then if I combine these three new types of TNT that I've just made, we've got the ultimate TNT. And I really want to test out this TNT in the nether and use it to find ancient debris. To be honest, it, it's going to destroy absolutely everything. This should be a good spot to light it. I'll just chisel out a nice big room as well as dig myself an escape route. Found some ancient debris on the way. And let's go ahead and light this TNT. I've got to get out of here. Oh my goodness, look at all of that. What a crazy explosion. I think a few of them should... Uh, solve my golem problem on Volcano Island. And in the meantime, I can get loads of ancient debris from this. I've run out of food, so something tells me I'm, I'm imminently going to use another totem. Then again, I am a half a heart warrior and I've absolutely nothing to worry about. I don't know why I left all of my food in here. Don't know why I was worried about losing a totem though. <laughs> I've got loads of them. A new netherite ingot can also be made and applied to these boots. And now my next job is to get loads and loads of ultimate TNT. Those guys won't know what's hit them. Step one is to grab a bunch of lava and also obsidian. Step three, get more flowers and I'll craft a bunch of sparkler TNT and geyser TNT. And you know what I need next? Way, way, way more gunpowder. Hopefully enough time has passed. Let's see what we've got. I can also use the looting sword on some of these and grab plenty more gunpowder. I'll also need more sand. After lots of crafting, I can now make two of the ultimate TNT. My goal is to get at least four altogether. Although something like that requires a little bit more gunpowder. And if all of this isn't enough, then I don't know what will be. And with all that, I have now managed to make two more ultimate TNT, giving me four altogether. Let's make a few extra pink TNT, and that'll be all of my ammunition for those enemies. But before I attack those guys, I, I, I want to send a bit of a warning for them. Yes, I want to send in a wither. So let's go ahead and get the necessary resources for that. And that's the first of the heads and another one. And finally, the third one. Now to get back home ASAP. And for my next plan, I'm going to get in, summon this wither and get out. I have no idea how effective this is going to be, but they, they don't look happy to see me. All right, wither, I'm counting on you to save the world. Go, go, go. And I have got to get out of here ASAP. Yes, wither, get them, defeat them. I don't know how effective it'll be. But that's just a warning. Next, I'm going to wipe them off the face of the planet. Although there is unfortunately one problem with this plan. Somebody has got to stay on the island to detonate the TNT. And yes, that, that someone is going to be me. So I don't think I'm going to be coming out of this alive. But that's just as well because they've already taken everything from me. Let's just go and take them all down and show them what happens when they mess 
with the world's most powerful evoker. The wither is looking a little bit worse for wear down there. And I am under attack as well. I'm going to pop this and I'm going to start getting all of this down. Put the pink ones down. Finally, the ultimate TNT. And sayonara, you monsters. 